Hey there, this is Death Star Killer, and welcome to another video. Whew, it's very hot here in Ireland at the moment. Whew, right, so Black Widow, let's get to it. I'm going to be as spoiler free as I can. After the longest gap between Marvel movies since it began in 2008, Phase 4 kicks off with Scarlett Johansson's return as Black Widow. To be honest, they really should have given her a movie before now. Like, she's just as good as Thor and Iron Man and Captain America. But at least we're getting something, eventually, after she dies. The movie begins in the 90s, in America. Natasha, Black Widow, is living with her younger sister and her parents in Ohio. During the opening credits, we get to see Natasha and other children as they grow up in the Red Room, a training facility for female assassins which uses brainwashing techniques to keep them under control. Cut to present day and it's set just after Civil War. Natasha is wanted for breaking the Sokovia Accords and she has been hunted down by Ross and his agents. Meanwhile, Yelena, Florence Pugh, is a Red Room operative on a mission. Something happens which breaks the Red Room's hold on her. She runs and sends something to Natasha to keep from the Red Room. That's as much as I'll go into the plot. I had a lot of fun with this movie. For me, there are mostly three types of Marvel movie. There's the straight up superhero one. There's the kind of cosmic sci-fi type like Ragnarok and Guardians. And then there's the spy action movie like Winter Soldier. This is one of those. In fact, the movie pretty much has the same beats as a classic Bond movie, especially the, the Roger Moore ones. There's even a part where Natasha is watching Moonraker and actually saying the lines of the movie along to it. As a Roger Moore fan, I love that. But there's actually a couple of moments in the movie later that feel are kind of inspired by Moonraker. Now the director has since come out and said that that's just a coincidence, but it seems pretty big coincidence to me. See if you can spot them. I saw two. Okay, I'll go into the good and the bad of the movie. The good. Lots of action with some great fight choreography and some big set pieces. I loved all the awkward family scenes, which provided a fair bit of humor throughout. David Harbour is a hoot as the Red Guardian and the father figure of the girls. Scarlett Johansson, as always, is solid as Natasha, Black Widow. But I do wish they'd given her just a little bit more to do in this. However, Florence Pugh was an absolute standout as Elena, and I'm sure we'll be seeing more of her in future movies or TV shows. The not so good. Ray Winstone as Dracov, the, the big bad of the piece, is a pretty boring character. He doesn't even come into it the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. His accent is terrible, but the only thing I liked of him was his end. Rachel Weisz isn't given much to do, and either as Taskmaster, but I'm sure we'll be seeing more of Taskmaster in the future. Another point. Uh, I actually liked that there wasn't like a big cameo by one of the other Avengers. I don't think Black Widow needed it. All in all, it's a pretty solid entry. It often feels like a James Bond or a Mission Impossible movie, but I do wish it had more ramifications to the MCU as a whole. Considering this was made a few years after Black Widow dies, I just thought something bigger would happen. Like there's, there's no reason for this to have been made a few years later other than they just forgot to. As usual, there is a short end credits scene, but I can't really go into that without doing spoilers. So just watch the movie. If you do get the chance, I'd watch it in IMAX or even 4DX if you have that wherever country you are. In Ireland and England, we have that in Cineworld and it's where the, the seats move and fans blow wind and there's fog and water. Like, I watched it with a mate of mine and there's a scene in the movie with an avalanche. We, we just laughed through the whole sequence because there was fog and wind and it was cold and we were rocking around the place and all this avalanche stuff was happening. It was, it was just hilarious at the time. Now for the rating. I give it three and a half Red Guardians out of a Captain America. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the bell if you want to see notifications of when I put up new videos. Until the next time, this is Death Star Killer, signing off.